Hello friends, so I'm just craving something. I'm a CV girl, but I also want to eat apples today. So I don't know, it's been a while I ate this cashew butter. This is finished. This is quite new. And I do not have green apples. I like it better with green apples. Okay, this will do. Okay. So we'll just have to make do with what we have. These aren't crispy. But they will do. I'm going to snack on this a little bit later. So let me finish my pasta. So this is a special sauce I'm talking about. I used to make this a lot a while back. I think I even mentioned it on my Instagram. Um, it's just like a chili onion sauce and it goes with everything. I do this whenever I crave like food in the evening. And I mostly eat this with cucumbers or a boiled egg, you know, because it's savory and really nice. But lately, I'm just, I've just been having it while the ams, pasta, and so on. So I'm just gonna, you know, pour it in so that it can cool down. Because, you know, I'm pouring it the hot macaroni on top. So it will just melt and I wouldn't have to warm it. This is quite much, but... When I crave savory, I don't know. I just don't know the feeling. I don't know if you could understand the feeling. This is barely three days and I'm almost through. And it's so spicy, but it's amazing. So I will let it cool before the mac is cooked. I told you guys the pasta was not that much, but it's hot. So when I mix them together, I think it's gonna balance the hot and the cold. Ugh, I cannot wait. This sauce is really nice. It's so spicy. I know I have put like a bit too much, but it's worth it. Okay. I'm not hungry, by the way. It's just because I wanted to have the sauce. I just boil off this mac quickly. Okay, it's quite melted. Now I'm gonna have this, so we'll chat later. Social media is such a bad influence. When I finished eating, I was about to just start watching, doing other things, but I just remembered I'm super tired. And I need to sleep early, I need to go to work. Um, and I need to study the Quran, which is so much more important than everything at the moment. But I finished eating. I am so tired to even shower this night, but I'm going to wash my face before I go to bed. I just want to study. Um, and Alhamdulillah, I am on day four. Is it four? Um, Satishawa. I have two left. Is it day four or three? yeah i have two left and i don't really you know stay a while before starting such a shower i start immediately after eat because i just want to finish everything <laughs> and just you know rest for a bit before mondays and thursdays so yeah alhamdulillah i'm so happy that i'm almost done and yeah i was able to finish the holy quran in the month of ramadan again so I started from the beginning. Um, that's my goal, you know, from beginning to end, beginning to end, beginning to end. Inshallah forever. So I've started again and yeah, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to read some pages, wash my face and straight to bed. Inshallah, I won't try to, you know, look at my phone and whatnot, but because I wake up early. This Quran... I don't know can you see it properly this quran alhamdulillah i was fortunate to graduate um our islamia which is islamic school from nursery one to ss3 at a very young age um and 
this Quran has a lot of memories because when I graduated primary six, I and my older brother, we we both had pages that we memorized and during the graduation day, we had to, you know, do the whole readings in front of our family and friends. Um, it was so memorable. Um, I still remember my pages. I still have like my introduction that I did. Um, so this Quran has been with me for over how many years? For over 15 years. Yes, this Quran. So I always, my hand always goes towards it whenever I want to study. I have so many Quran, but this has a special place in my heart because I was so much very young and I was given two of this. I don't know who did I gift one to, I can't remember. But this will be with me, inshallah, for a very long time, till the end of my time. So yeah, I love reading it. It's bold. I don't need glasses. It's just so beautiful. When I was gifted this at the time, I was like, this is the most beautiful Quran ever. And I have beautiful other ones, but I just don't know. This is the most beautiful before my eyes. I have new ones, I have the colorful ones, but I'm this... I'm gonna let the camera roll just because I am lazy to even stand up and disconnect right now. And I don't have the Bluetooth connect at the moment. And I'm just gonna read um, three pages and then I would fast forward when editing. But yeah, good night. So this is the lunch series. I'm having some chicken curry with green peppers, cauliflower, stir fry, coconut jollof. I made it in the other video. And then I'm having watermelon for snack. And for breakfast, I'm having some oats. And I just have some tea here brewing. Um, it has ginger, cloves, mint, and all the rest. Star anise and all the rest. I'm in a hurry. I'm very late. So I'm actually heading into the editor office because I want to, I have an Etel sim for my business, that's my business line and I want it to be an e-sim so that I can just have them in the same phone rather than having separate phone, you know, business and personal. Yeah, so I'm just about to go in, I'm so tired already, it's just to 12 but I just rushed from work so that I can just get things done and get back to work quickly I made the silky but hair butter it hasn't really solidified yet, but it is so silky. Can you see it melts on your hands? I'm gonna show you how I. It's very simple, by the way, like nothing complicated. The reason why it solidifies like this is because of shea butter. So you just use a bunch of oils that you like and melt it with shea butter, and you would have yourself really smooth and amazing butter. I use rosemary oil, I use um, fenugreek, I use jojoba oil, 
I used castor oil, I used olive oil, I used black seed oil, I used rosemary oil, like a lot, like, look at that, it's gonna make your hair grow. Assalamu alaikum friends, so I just finished um, recording a reel and a TikTok video on toners and I just came on here because I know some people even though they watch me on YouTube they don't watch me on my other social handles and the people who watch me on my social handles other social handles like you don't follow me on YouTube so I try to balance it um, this pixie toner it's the glow tonic it's really nice I spoke about it the benefit also the LMS facial pads I do not know whether they're toners but to me it's a toner um, amazing like I love LMS products some people think it's actually just bougie it doesn't work but this is product that these are products that really work then the good molecules brightening toner the niacinamide brightening toner I can only use this maybe another time and it's done so that's the amount I've used I'm gonna repurchase as well and then this Ren toner I've been yabbing about it for a really long while I love Ren Ren is the best like it's just amazing like it exfoliates my skin a lot when I need that you know liquid exfoliant this this does it for me the glow recipe um, watermelon toner I use it every single day I use it every single day and I also use it sometimes as a skin tint so yeah this we all know this we all know this this is my second bottle um, I've been using it for a year now the Laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer where have you seen a toner and a moisturizer this good this is amazing for deeper explanation and whatnot make sure you just watch my reel I will just maybe post it as a short on YouTube as well so that you can you know know more details about this products because these are amazing toners that I've used I'm open to using more so lunch i'm having native is it native or um village rice i don't know but we make this for lunch like lunch packs on our for our business northern bakery um should check that out inshallah we'll be making lunches and even breakfast every saturdays and sundays many will be up by monday and we can pre-order before thursday inshallah this is really nice, you know. Northern Bakery always have a little twist. So this village native rice is just knock on wood. This is not a wood. So this is the same base I did for my lamb pepper soup in the previous video I would just look up you would see it um go check the previous video so this is lamb head legs lamb head and legs yes <coughs> a bit spicy spicier than the other one but less spices like I, ha I put more peppers in here than the lamb pepper soup but lesser spices like um bottle spices in this one and yeah i think that's the only difference okay i added this let me show you quickly i 
I added this. Um, this is, is it Ikuru or Ekuru or Ari? I don't know. But um, this is how it is. Normally we used to, you know, put it on fire for some time, then grind it. But this is so innovative and simple. I've been using this for a whole while, so I added a little bit for that, you know, native taste. It has been like this for over 20 minutes now. I'm going to add some water to cover it. It's tougher than lamb, so it would have to cook for more than 40 minutes on very low heat. That's how I make it. quickly I'm gonna pray not quickly I'm gonna take my time and then because I'm gonna make some fish as well so cover this and allow to cook so I want to make some watermelon juice I just cut this up to make some tea just hearing my girl Fatima also remember to exercise because exercise I think chats with Tima. That's her page. Okay. What's this? This is so juicy, mashallah. Mmm. I want to add some fresh mint and blend this, not blending, I'm juicing it directly. It's going to taste amazing because the watermelon is sweet. I have this crotch I don't really need a new mixer because this is literally dead. It doesn't even show the light anymore, but it has paid its dues, honestly. It has paid its dues. So, I think I'm going to break this. This, add it here. I'm, I'm gonna add some mint. Inshallah. make some fish I don't like fish I don't know whether you know but I'm not into seafood at all weird right and the only way I like eating catfish is when I make it myself or grill like grilling grilled fish so I'm going to I'm not grilling this I'm not baking this I'm just going to put it in charcoal and allow it to is it roasting yeah roasting Roast a little bit. So the spices are is it a who that I showed you earlier? Salt, cumin, black pepper, a bit of curry, onion powder. I'm gonna drizzle that. I'm going to massage it but not with my hands. And then onions. of onions I just wanted something different but I'm not a fan of fish and I'm gonna add some pepper I'm going to add some onga cubes too
Then I'm going to add some fresh basil. This is exactly how I like my fish, very much grilled, roasted, whatever we call it, and a little bit burnt. I don't want to, you know, taste the fish, the catfish. I don't want to taste it at all. Mashallah. I don't know if you can zoom in, you need to see this close up. Is perfect okay it is just gorgeous and perfect so some, okay, this is the soup looking really nice 